What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sweet Tea, in the house. And I'm here to talk about the time when um I was involved with my boyfriend. And he almost ran me over with his car. He was very abusive in the end. At the beginning, he wasn't. So it goes like, you know, me and him, we were together. We were in love. He was my first love. Um, I fell in love for the first time with him so hard, so strong. Because of the way that he was with me. I mean, I was young. I was a teen. He used to come and see me at my house. My mom, she gave me permission. Well, my grandmother, rather. You know, you ever heard of... Um, taking company you know back in the day when you young not saying I'm old, old, old the way I'm saying back in the day but you know when you were when you were if you're older and you were growing up you know um, the terminology for dating or having a boyfriend especially when they come to your house is taking company so he would come to my house we would go on the porch and we would talk. We had a screened in porch. It was very romantic. We would talk, hug, and kiss. And we would just kiss and tongue kiss and tongue kiss for hours. And I would sit in his lap. We had a reclining chair out there. And I really enjoyed my times with him. A lot of times, you know, when my mom wasn't home, my grandmother rather, she wasn't home, I would see him then. Um, like sometimes before I went to school or something or maybe if she had to go to work he would sneak in and come and see me and we would make love and um, it was just all good and very romantic and the way he kissed me hugged me the things he would say to me made me fall in love with him and um, every time he went home I would just think about him when I went to sleep at night, I would just dream about him. And I just loved him. I loved everything about him. I would tell you his name. His name was Alfred because he would never know that I'm talking about him. Nobody would know. You know, his name is Alfred. But, um, so it was all good. So, I started to notice things about him, though. Um... He turned out to be a rogue. He was he would steal. The reason why I say that because my grandmother, she had bought us, me and my brother, some Christmas things, some things for Christmas. This was right around Christmas time. So she had went and bought us some things and put the gifts under the tree. Now she somehow told me what she had bought, a couple of items, not all of them. And I was very excited about that. Okay, my boyfriend, he also, he ended up getting his own apartment. So I would go over there to see him in his apartment. Um, not too many times, maybe once or twice. But the twice, I mean that second time was hell on earth. But the first time I went, I noticed that he had um, stole what my grandmother told me she had got for us for Christmas and one being a boom box and one being a, a necklace for me and the reason why I, I said it was him because I noticed I was just putting two and two together that our house had been broken into one day I came home and I noticed that somebody had punched through the door it was very weak anyways they punched a hole in it and reached in, unlocked the door, and went on in. And the stuff was missing. Our Christmas toys, well not toys, but our Christmas things, because I was a teenager, was missing. And so I spoke with, I mean not spoke with him, but when I went to his apartment, I put it all together. I saw the boom box and I saw the necklace. That's how my grandmother, yeah, she ended up telling me, 
after the house got broke into and some things were taken, she told me what was taken and that it was a boom box and a necklace for me. And I said to myself, oh my gosh, he broke in our house. You know, but I was in love with him and I didn't want to say anything. I didn't say anything to him about it. I just couldn't believe my eyes and I couldn't believe what I was thinking and seeing. So I continued our relationship, okay? So here's where it all broke down at. Here's where the hell broke loose at. Here's where he put his hands on me. Here's where he tried to run me over with the car, okay? I went to his apartment one day. I was feeling happy. I was feeling like I needed to be kissed, hugged, and loved. And I was looking my best. And I walked in and I spoke to him and he was acting strange. Come to find out he was using drugs. He was on drugs. <clears throat> The reason why I say that because he was um like you could tell he was high. He looked different. He was on something. I was looking at him. I was trying to talk to him. Hey baby, you know, trying to talk to him. He was acting funny with me, snappy. Leave me alone. Move your hands out the way. Don't touch me. Get out the way. And then he was looking out the window. See this apartment he lived in. It was like a rooming house, and it had the windows boarded up. So what you looking at a window wherein it's all boarded up. So it was boarded up. He up there like peeping and looking and he was acting very strange. And I was standing there looking at him like, what's going on? I said, what's wrong with you? He said, shut your ass up. And then he went to, um, you know, touching the walls and just doing strange things. And I was like, baby what's wrong he was like just leave just leave just get the hell out of my house I was like no why are you tripping I love you I was so in love with him and I just wanted to kiss him like we normally do you know I want to do the normal things we normally do but he wasn't on it he wasn't with it and he was just out of there so I kept you know I was grabbing on him baby come on what's wrong with you talk to me tell me what's wrong so he's like leave right now just go and I was like no he said if you don't leave right now he was making faces at me he was like if you don't leave right now I'm gonna knock your ass out and I was like why what's wrong he said I'm telling you and he started like um squeezing his fists and stuff he was like just leave right now just leave I was like baby no so he just cocked back and he punched me so damn hard I'm like, what the? I hit, okay, when he punched me, it was with, with such force that I don't know if you know whether you ever, ever heard the terminology like when you get hit so hard you see stars. Well, literally, I saw stars and I, I smelt blood, but I flew up in the air and I hit, I fell back down so hard to my feet and it scared the hell out of me and I jumped up and I ran out of his house right so he jumped in his car he had a white Cadillac I never forget he jumped in his car so it was like a long alleyway that leads up into his place and so I had to run down that alleyway and it was nighttime and he started like um, driving behind me and he was swerving and he was trying to run over me and he was going fast and I was running for my dear life and I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh I was like he gonna kill me what's wrong with him and I was like oh my gosh he gonna kill me so I was like weaving in and out of um trees and different things just weaving 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 and he was swerving and following me and swerving and following me and i was running for my dear life and somehow i got away and i ran all the way home and i was crying i was devastated and i finally made it home i didn't see no see him anymore in that car you know, the the motor, the sound of it had went away. I was relieved. But when I got home, I was absolutely devastated. Because I had been punched. And I was swole up. He punched me in my, in my face. He punched me in my jaw. At least he didn't punch me in my eye. At least he didn't bust my mouth. But he punched me in my jaw. At least he didn't hit me that hard that my jaw broke. 
but he hit me hard and I was just devastated. I got home because he was my first love. So you know how you lay back, you cry, you heartbroken. You know you got to be strong. You know that he's a dangerous person now. You got to leave him alone. That was my thoughts. I got to leave him alone. He done broken our house. He done stole our Christmas stuff. He ain't no good. This man, man is crazy. This man is on drugs now. It's over. And I boohoo cried. And I boohoo cried. And it just took me a while to get over him. But I finally did. And I didn't hear no more from him till later on throughout the years. I finally heard from him again. And he came with gifts. He said he was very sorry. He gave me like a box, a gift wrap box, two of them, with one with a shirt in there and one with the matching pants. It was a cute little outfit. And he told me that he's very sorry for all the things he put me through, that he was on drugs back then. He straightened and turned around his life. And he said, I just wanted to come and tell you that and give you this. And I'm going to leave. I'm not going to stay. I'm not trying to ask you to be with me. But I just wanted to let you know that I felt like that was one thing in life that I had to do that I owe to you. Because I know I really hurt you. And I'm very sorry. And so he left. And I never saw him again. But he did do something. I'm not going to disclose it now. He did something that he ended up in prison. And now he's, um, you know, serving his prison time or whatever. But this happened to me when I was a teen and I'm way up in age now. I have since had, had kids and all that. And, you know, life went on. So, that was my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I would like for you guys to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And come back for more story times or whatever. Um, I'm very entertaining, so check out my other videos on my page. And um, if you're not on my other page, because I'm dropping this video on another page of mine, um, I would like you to go to my page. It's called The Talented Sweet Tea. The Talented Sweet Tea. And um, check out my videos there and su subscribe to my channel as well. And if you happen to be watching this video from this page, um, I'm very grateful. So thank you for coming by. And peace out. Bye.